Ravit. Hello, hello. Hello. I can hear you. I just want to make sure Ravit's on and then it's already seven. So I think we already have our quorum, so. I don't see him on yet. Yeah, it looks like we're just missing uh, Yugam and Fanny. Mm, Yugam's here, but it was just missing Ravi. I'm sorry, Ravi and Fanny. I think everyone's here except him. Yugam, can you text him? <laughs> Hi, can you guys hear me? Now we can. Oh, uh, yeah. So I texted him uh, around 10 minutes ago, and I haven't gotten a response yet. Okay. So I'm not sure if he's joining. Um, he confirmed it with us last week, so. Okay. Rochelle, do you know if he accepted the invitation? Um, let me check. Hang on. Thank you. Rosanna, mm -hmm. um, I didn't get any notification of either decline or acceptance. So it doesn't mean that um, he's not coming in. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. You have your vice chair. I think you can start. Hold yeah. On. Sounds good. Yugam, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, I call this meeting to order at 7.03 p.m. Uh, we are going to be taking roll call. Uh, well, we can't go around and say present. So I guess um, everyone, if they want to. You have to call their name and then they yeah, respond. Okay. So um, Yukum Satija here. Sanya. Here. Uh, Sally. Here. Fangi. Absent. Tejas. Here. Uh, Andrea. Here. Magna. And Aruna. Here. Okay. Um, uh, we are going to be seating. Uh, are we seating alternates? Yes. In place see. of. Uh, we're going to seat uh, Tejas in place of Rabbit and Andrea in place of uh, Magna. Okay. okay. Is that correct? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Um, are we doing the Pledge of Allegiance as well? Yes. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Oh, is everyone ready? I forgot yes. that. Okay. 
Uh, let's start. I pledge allegiance I pledge to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America. And, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible with liberty, liberty and, and justice, justice for all. For all. All right. Um, next, uh, can I get uh, an approval for, uh, can I get a motion and a second for the approval of today's agenda? Motion. Anyone second? If not, I can do it. I'll second. Okay, so repeat who motioned and then who second. Uh, who who was the one who said motion? Um, I did Sonia. Okay, and um, Yugum did the second. Good. Okay, can I get a motion and a second for approval of meeting minutes? Motion. Who made the motion? Say your name, please. Aruna. Aruna. Okay. Once again, I can second that motion. Um, okay. So we do not have anyone here from the public today, I believe. So did you? We... I'm sorry. Did you approve the minutes? Yeah, I said I seconded it. Okay, and and um, only those that were there on the 13th can. Um, approve it okay so you okay. need to say that okay uh oh aruna was uh wait was she the one who did the motion that or is correct so she wasn't here right i, I unfortunately don't have the because I'm, I'm looking at the meeting minutes and it says committee members absent Can we get uh, another motion? I, I can. Okay, so you need to do the call for uh, you know um, the vote. So you say everyone's name that was at the meeting on February 13th, and okay. then they would vote and the rest abstain. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, Rabbit is not present. Um, me, Sonia, Sally, Fangi, and Tejas and Andrea. Uh, all accept, say aye. Any aye. opposed? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion passed. Um, <clears throat> announcements. It looks like, um, looking through it. No announcements today. No announcements. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the business items. So our first item is the commission scholarship from the city staff. So uh, usually each term, the YAC uh, awards a service scholarship in uh, of an amount of 500 to a deserving Milpitas resident who's a high school student, a junior or a senior. And uh, YAC members are not eligible for this. So uh, the recommendation for today was update the application and approve for distribution. So um, on the screen, we have the application and we, I would, we would like you to propose any changes you would want on this application. Just so you guys are aware, we did extend out the date um, to the end of July, um, just due to the, the current <clears throat> issues that we're dealing with with COVID. Um, and I believe we will be, should we, if we approve um, that date for July, we will review them in August um, and then make our uh, decision that evening as well. Do we need um, a motion for this, to approve of this? Yes. Was yes. there any changes, Anthony? Or was everything okay? Everything was good. The only thing that we uh, made adjustments to was the uh, receive the receiving date of July thirty first that we extended out. 
Um, besides that, um, that was it. No, it, it's it's due July 31st. Yeah, I'm sorry, due July what, 31st. Yeah, what you see on the um, screen here. Correct. Mm -hmm. Was there a discrepancy with the question or was it just one? Oh, I, uh, so um, the question, uh, and I, I wanted to bring up, uh, so for the questions, uh, per the bullet points we have here, um, is that the uh, recipient or the app applicants must complete the scholarship questionnaire consisting of two short essay questions. Um, we do have one essay question here. Um, however, it can be interpreted um, that that is broken out into two answers um, based upon the, the question itself. One, talking about the community service project you were most proud of, and then two, uh, what have you learned from that experience? Can you so, move to the application, please? Second page, I believe. Okay. Um, I think it's just one question. Yeah, and I think it's just um, the way that it's received on my end uh, is that that is broken up into two short answers. Uh, however, we can... Uh, you know, should the commission uh, decide we can change that wording on the bullet point to consist of one short essay question? I believe we should make that change because in our college essays, uh, usually we have a question where they ask for our most meaningful experience and then what we learn. So that usually comprises of one question. So I believe we should change it to be uh, say that it's one question because it might confuse some people. I second okay. that. Great. So we'll change. Um, you can go ahead and say the motion and then vote on it. I move to change uh, the wording to make it say one question rather than two. Any seconds? Uh, I second. That was Sally, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Motion passed. Um, could we go back to the agenda? Or is this? Okay. Uh, one more thing. Can we please change the wording of the question? Um, on the application so that it ends with a period and not a question mark because it's not a question. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> um, our next uh, item is Office of Women's Policy mini grant. Uh, the back, some background is the Teen Center and the YAC were awarded a mini grant for civic engagement activities. We are looking to outreach students ages 16 and up in hopes of educating them not only how to pre-register as a voter, but also the power that voting gives. Uh, our proposal is uh, also includes internships for female teens who will take a leadership role in inspiring and encouraging their community to have what their voices heard. So our recommendation is take volunteers to form a subcommittee. Okay, so before you um, discuss or sign up for a subcommittee, I need to let you know, um, because when we applied for this grant, a lot of the information or our proposal for activities were of course, uh, pre-COVID. And so we had to change some of those proposals. And so um, can we, can you please move the screen so I can access my email? Thank you. Got it. Okay, so what uh, was proposed and um, that we will do for this grant is that we would like to form virtual activities and, and inform those that are um, 16 years and older how to promote um, existing and we would be able to promote it using the existing database and local high schools. So this would be like a virtual activity, you know, um, similar to what we're doing now. 
um, we would probably want to do like a small breakout sessions on um, how we would strategize on the different locations we want to gather and provide the information on voting voting and so basically small if you gather in small groups and we have to look at the um, sh the health order to how many we can at one time um, we can do that and then pop up events again same thing as once you've decided where you want to go out to um, notify you know all the teams of uh, voting people then we we can have like uh, tabling at you know the, your favorite hangout places, uh, maybe the coffee place, the boba, those sorts of um, restaurants in the area. And then our main messaging is going to be, you know, um, you need to vote to have your voice heard. And I think right now with everything going on, I think it's the perfect opportunity for your generation, the younger kids, 16 years and up, is is pre-registered to vote now so that in the next primary election um, they will they'll be ready to vote and so we were awarded the grant of two thousand dollars we plan to use um, majority of it through marketing and we would be printing materials such as uh, flyers posters postcards uh, using the social media and then um, when we do have these pop-up events we'll provide you know snacks and beverages for the um, students that attend and then we're hoping to get hopefully some maybe uh, giveaways at these events that kids might want to get I don't know lanyards uh, cell phone pop sockets so if those are still around but I think with um, forming the subcommittees if we look at the proposal I think we could do maybe three subcommittees. Anthony, is that something that we could do or sounds yeah, about that, right? That seems more than feasible for sure. Okay. So one would be, uh, one subcommittee would be virtual activities. Uh, one would be the small breakout sessions. And then the third one would be pop-up events. Do you have any questions? Anybody? Um, for breakout, do you mean like um, digital or on Zoom breakout? Every, either way, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Everything is now, we plan for things to be, you know, on Zoom, whatever the platforms that kids are using nowadays. Can you explain the role of each subcommittee again? So for the virtual activities, you would basically um, plan, you know, how are we going to get this message out to the community, to the teens, okay? Whether it's, you know, um, a small, we, we print out flyers and some of you go out to uh, Tea Society and you hand out postcards, those kinds of things. The, wait, let me t take that back. These are virtual activities. It would be something that you can do like a small um, town hall meeting, you know, inviting kids to what are the benefits of pre-registering? That's what the virtual activities would be. Anything else? Hello? I believe um, we have no, no other questions. questions. I mean, and then these virtual activities, it's, it's up to you. I know you've all been doing social distance learning. And so, um, you know, we'll do our best to plan for these events. But right now we will utilize, you know, most of it is going to be, again, um, virtual town hall meetings um, you could have a small breakout sessions again limited to what's allowable allowable with the um, county's um, health order okay mm -hmm. i think maybe two to three per per um, <laughs> subcommittee would work 
Yeah. I and then and then we would, you know, and you you are off on in July. So when we come back in August, we can um, discuss and be sh we should be ready to go to implement some of these things that you want to do before the November election. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If, whatever the committee subcommittee you want to be in, please say your name. You can go ahead. Ask for. Uh, okay. So, for uh, would anyone like to just uh, say their name and what subcommittee they would like to be in? Um, Sonia, I'd like to be in the pop-up events. Uh, anyone else for pop-up events? Um, Siley, I'd like to do pop-up events as well. Okay, that's so, too. Uh, sorry, I just yeah, go to ahead. Go ahead. Go one ahead. more time. So these pop-up events, we wouldn't um, start uh, working. We so we'd spend the next one and a half months, well, up until July. So like month and a, yeah, so about a month um, planning <laughs> and just sorry strategizing, nice. and then. Um, around fall when um, more talks about the election happen and um, just when we come back, we'll start um, using the strategies that the mm -hmm. subcommittee has been planning. Yes, okay, so exactly. with these pop-up events, sorry, I just wanted to make sure that I was, like I understood everything. Um, with the pop-up events, uh, we would, we would we plan for them to be like, virtual right now I, I don't know if that um because we don't know what the circumstances are going to be in the next two months so would we plan both um like a virtual and a and a yes. physical way okay yes yes absolutely because yeah I, I i would say to plan for both mm -hmm. okay. um just because also too as you're noticing that outdoor dining is starting to begin again mm -hmm. uh however we do have to be um you know uh, sensitive to the gatherings of large amounts of people too. So we, we don't want to, you know, encourage something like that. However, right. as the days pass and the days change, things are going to change. So preparing for both would make the most sense. Okay. Thank you. And if they were, if they were to be virtual pop-up events, then would they be similar to like the breakout session and the virtual activities committee as well? Just like, um, just wondering. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, similar in terms of, very okay. similar, very similar. All right. Thank you. Um, I can go next. I would like to be part of the virtual activities uh, subcommittee. And would anyone else like to join that subcommission? I would be willing to join the virtual subcommittee as well. Okay, great. And as for the last one, I assume um, we are gonna, uh, Andrea and uh, Aruna, right? Uh, would you guys be, uh, willing to participate in the last subcommittee? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Okay. 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 Can we have the agenda back up, please? Okay, our next um, order of business is the city liaison reports. Uh, do you have any reports for us? Um, nothing except for just to remind you that there is no meeting next month. And okay. we do, uh, we actually have, let me, um, we also have an upcoming, I would encourage you, sorry, let me back up, to look at our virtual community center. We do have information up on there um, with our all our virtual events that we've been planning. We did the Memorial Day ceremony. I believe we're having a pride uh, virtual event at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken. And then also we have a week long of um, July 4th celebration, all virtual, okay? Okay, so uh, moving on, we have uh, the upcoming agenda items, which is a work plan, uh, subcommittee updates. 
and um, I'm not sure which one we should start with, if anyone wants to. Um, I can start with the career day one, if okay. that's okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, so back this in, is, oh, sorry. This, this is for upcoming agenda. Not oh, today. sorry. Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry. Not today. It's okay. It's oh. okay. We can do that. Um, we can do it next month. Okay. Or August. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, and the thing too is, it's we need to start preparing for our work plan. I know with the whole um, shelter in place, we weren't able to do as many as we would had hoped to from your work plan. But I think it's important that we continue. Um, it is a fiscal year work plan, if I'm not mistaken, and it's. Um, I think it's going to be something that we're going to be going to city council fairly soon as you all come back and those of you that are still going to be in town and interested i believe your term ends uh, soon and so you need to let the city clerk's office know that you're interested in staying in the commission okay All right, for our last uh, um, order of business is the adjournment. I adjourn this meeting at 7.27 p.m. Okay, all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your right. summer. Yeah, good luck with everything, guys. <laughs> you Bye. too. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Everyone. Or Talking to everyone. Talking Bye. to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.